Welcome back Cubs, Dire Wolf here, and today I have something very special for you. Today I'm going to be the guest announcer on the channel Fun Review for the long-awaited heavyweight matchup where Isis and Trump will meet for the first time in the ring. These two contenders have exchanged harsh words and high explosives for the better part of two years. But today they will meet in the ring to determine, once and for all, which is greater, the American resolve or the will of Allah. This matchup is brought to you by Virtual Shield. Experts in IP masking, they help protect your anonymity from those who wish to silence you. Affiliate link below. Now let's go to the ring where the competitors make their entrances. Hailing from the Islamic State in Syria, weighing in at 185 pounds and standing at 5 feet 11 inches. A terrorist organization trying to create a global Islamic caliphate, ISIS. The infamous ISIS comes to the ring with an impressive resume with having killed 19,000 and wounded 36,000 innocent civilians in the Middle East alone. In addition to intentionally displacing 3.2 million refugees and personally conducting 685 terrorist attacks, killing more than 7,400 people. They proudly tout that they are the largest organization of men with micropenises following the instructions of a dead pedophile who forced women to wear bags on their heads. The American government is waging this crusade against the Muslims. They've always been the enemy. I will fight anybody. And even if it was my own father and fight him and kill him myself. The West, it's filled with hypocrisy. Allahu Akbar. Wow, those are very strong and confident words from a group that's recently lost most of its land holdings to American-backed forces. Because of those losses, ISIS comes to this fight today desperately in need of a win. And in the other corner, weighing in at huge and standing at the best height, like seriously everyone tells me they love my height, the President of America, Donald J. Trump! <laughs> Donald Trump is a strong, nationalist, populist president, viewed as a hero by some and a villain by others. Trump comes to us with a perfect 20-0 record and fresh off his historic 2 versus 1 match against Hillary Clinton and CNN. He easily won that match to the surprise of his critics who said he never had a chance. But Trump is not one to accept limitations. We're going to defeat ISIS and radical Islamic terrorists. It is now time for a new approach. I would knock the hell out of ISIS. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. Our new approach must be to halt the spread of radical Islam. We definitely have a grudge match here, folks. I don't see either of these two showing any mercy. Come on. My administration will aggressively pursue to crush and destroy ISIS. This ideology of death that must be extinguished. Trump is not holding back. It looks like his plans to eradicate ISIS are starting with this man here. This is not looking very good early on for ISIS. That's gotta hurt. You know he's gonna be feeling that one tomorrow. Those who do not believe in our Constitution or who support bigotry and hatred will not be admitted into our country. It's clear to see that Trump's new immigration policies have dealt a massive blow to ISIS's ability to conduct terrorism on our shores. We will decimate ISIS. Trump's done some damage, but I don't think ISIS is done yet. And look at that reversal. This fight never ends. This is our religion. This is our faith. This is what we believe in. And that's a big hit from ISIS. They're smaller, so their best hope is to wear down the champ. ISIS's strength is psychological warfare. They spread fear by being random and unpredictable, trying to make you feel like the danger is all around you, all the while trying to degrade your resolve by telling your people that any response to their violence is the reason for their violence. We don't want you. We want our own laws. We don't want your rules. We want our own rules. It's the only solution. These hits from ISIS just keep on coming and it looks like they're taking a toll on the champ. And you gotta know that Trump's already sore from his previous bouts with the conservative and liberal elites. Hopefully baseless accusations of Russian collusion have not distracted him so much that he's too weakened to fight the very real threat of terrorism. I'm pretty sure that last hit broke his hair. If Hillary Clinton is still alive, she's probably loving this. I don't know if you call that a victory. Oh, look at that. Not tough enough. Trump was just toying with ISIS. We're up against an enemy that celebrates death and totally worships destruction. Looks like the champ is still in this fight. The proof? ISIS is on a campaign of genocide committing atrocities across the world. 
And here's the pin. One, two, oh, and he kicks out. Looks like ISIS still has some fight left. When they're chopping off the heads of our people, and they're chopping off the heads of people because they happen to be a Christian, we have to fight fire with fire. I would bring back waterboarding. And I'd bring uh, back a hell of a lot worse. I'm pretty sure Trump just said he was planning on torturing ISIS into submission. I'm pretty sure that's not what ISIS expected him to say. This must fill them with fear. Knock them hard. You gotta beat the hell out of them. The support networks for radical Islam in this country will be stripped out and removed one by one, viciously if necessary. Look at what's happening. It looks like I have a pretty good chance of winning. Drone strikes will remain part of our strategy. Trump definitely seems very self-confident. <laughs> Foreign combatants will be tried in military commissions. It looks as though Trump's campaign of drone strikes, the torturing and imprisoning of terrorists, their families, and all those who support them, <sighs> is definitely instilling <sighs> fear in ISIS. <sighs> scary. It looks as though Trump has managed to terrorize the terrorists. I don't know if ISIS is going to be able to recover from that last big hit. And he goes for the pin for a second time. One, two, three. And just like that, the match is over. And that's another big win for Trump, the President of the United States. And to see how he did it, let's look at the replay. Early on, you see he correctly identified it he was fighting an ideology. He didn't only fight this war with bullets and bombs. He did not make this war about nationality or race. He identified the core of their belief, radical Islam, was evil, and that American culture and values are superior. It was his strength of conviction in American exceptionalism that brought him victory. But Trump did not do this alone. He was backed up by the strength of will of the American people who refused to ever kowtow or bow down to a backwards religion that would seek to take away their human rights and destroy their way of life. This was a victory for all of America. Look no further than the men and women of the United States military. They are the greatest fighters and the greatest force of justice on the face of the earth. So today we deliver a message in one very unified voice to these forces of death and destruction. America will defeat you. Well, that was fun. I promised to do this like four months ago. I'm just now getting to it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, don't worry. I have some great pieces that are not satirical in nature in the works. If you did like it, please hit like and subscribe. And if you feel like supporting me financially, please check out my Patreon linked in the description. And also, if you're interested in protecting your anonymity online, please check out the VPN service Virtual Shield, also linked below. And lastly, if you want to see more matches like these with other voices, please check out the channel Fun and Reviews, also linked below. Direwolf out. Yeah.